Hey, gaming enthusiasts. Today we're tackling a topic that's got everyone talking, microtransactions in the gaming world. But before we start, I want to hear from you. Drop your thoughts, rants, and raves in the comments below. How do you feel about microtransactions? Have they changed the way you game? Gaming has taken us on an incredible journey, from pixelated adventures to breathtaking virtual realms. But along the way, we've encountered a new player in the game, microtransactions. These little in-game purchases might seem harmless, but they've got a dark side that's hard to ignore. Let's peel back the layers and uncover the truth beneath. When left unchecked, microtransactions can lead to a pay-to-win culture where those willing to spend real money gain an unfair advantage. This shift has the potential to alter the very essence of gaming, transforming it from a skill-driven pursuit into victories fueled by wallets. This trend is particularly prevalent in the mobile gaming world, where prices can be mind-boggling. For instance, take one of my favorite mobile racing game, Real Racing. Unlocking all the cars in the game requires an astonishing investment of over $500. That's right, a single game can cost as much as a PS5 and a year's worth of PS Plus subscription together. And the issue doesn't stop there. Even games that you've purchased outright, such as Gran Turismo 7 on the PS5, still incorporate microtransactions. These purchases can take the form of inflated in-game currency values, forcing players to choose between investing months of gameplay or real money to make progress. Some cars even demand amounts as high as 10 or 20 million in-game credits, where you can exchange $20 for 2 million credits. Do the math for yourself. If someone wants to spend their money, then they should be free to do so, some people will say. Yes, I understand and agree, but this viewpoint leads us to the next problem. It appears that certain game developers have caught the endless money-milking bug. Instead of channeling efforts into crafting fresh, captivating games, they're fixated on squeezing every penny possible from existing titles. It's a bit like going to a concert and hearing the same song on loop. Entertaining at first, but it loses its charm fast. Picture a gaming landscape where new concepts are rare as unicorns. If developers invest all their energy in enhancing old games through microtransactions, we're left high and dry when it comes to groundbreaking gaming experiences. It's akin to refusing to explore new territories, because we're preoccupied with digging for treasure in the same spot. Now, I'm not one to dictate how you handle your finances. However, let's mull over the idea of setting a boundary, not a strict budget, just a simple checkpoint to ensure we don't go overboard. This isn't about becoming money watchdogs, it's about fostering a gaming realm that nurtures creativity and innovation. Gaming extends beyond button mashing and flashy visuals. It's a realm of boundless opportunities. It's up to us, the players, to steer this ship in the right direction. By fostering open dialogues, contemplating before swiping that credit card, and demanding novel experiences from developers, we shape the future of gaming for ourselves and future generations. Gaming extends beyond button mashing and flashy visuals. It's a realm of boundless opportunities. It's up to us, the players, to steer this ship in the right direction. By fostering open dialogues, contemplating before swiping that credit card, and demanding novel experiences from developers, we shape the future of gaming for ourselves and future generations. And if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button. Until next time, ensure your controllers are charged and your wallets remain in check.